Hey guys, so today we're covering Take Me Home Country Roads by John Denver. And I covered the first part pretty well in the first video, so make sure you check that out for the uh, verse part. We're going to be looking at the chorus today, and the chorus sounds like this. which point you would go back and play the whole verse again and then play the chorus again. That's how the, the uh, song is arranged. There are no new chords in the chorus, but the arrangement's slightly different. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play through each chord two measures. So in other words, we start with the G, it'll be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And that length of time will be what we do for each one of the chords. We go then to the D twice. E minor twice. be the chorus. So again, we play the intro of the verse, basically, and then we play the chorus, and we go back and play another verse and another chorus, and then that's going to bring up what's called the bridge. And the bridge goes through a sequence of chords that's a little bit different here. There is one bar chord involved in this song. I tried to avoid bar chords as much as I could with the capo, but there was one that I could not. So I will show you that coming up next. Hope you're enjoying this song. Okay, guys, so now we're going to look at the bridge for Take Me Home Country Roads. Starts out with an E minor chord. I should notice when I'm or notice that I'm playing this that I'm staying on each chord a shorter period of time, most of the time. So it's going to be just two times through down, down, up, down, down, up, and shift chords. So a lot of chords here. I'm going to play it for you, then I'll go through it in detail. Starting with E minor. go back and do another chorus. We won't go back to verse there, we'll go back to another chorus on this particular, uh, at this time, right after you get done with the bridge. So, bridge is doing E minor, two times through it. Then we're going to go to D. Two times through D, then G for four. C. G. D twice. couple new chords there. I mean, we've already covered the E minor, the D, the G, and the C. Uh, we have an F. F chord is first fret ahead of the capo on the first, second, and sixth strings. I'm thumbing the sixth string there. Playing the third fret on the fourth and fifth strings, the second fret on the third string. That's our F. We go through that two strums. Two strum groups, I would say. Then back to C. It's just like you take that little triangle shape you're making the D with and you turn it around. That requires a complete refingering on that. Make sure you reference the chord charts here. Uh, we're going to be holding the second fret on the first, the third, and the first fret on the second string as well as the open fourth. It's a D7. Using my middle finger on the third string, index finger on the second, ring finger on the first, and totally different sounding than D. D sounds like this. And then that really calls you back to the G. Again, if you have your tab sheets in front of you, which you should, print them, have them in front of you, use the looping feature, slow down functions on this. This song should be very doable for someone who's only been playing just a few months. 
Uh, it's a great song. Uh, again, I encourage you to look at some of the videos. We'll have links below. You can watch him play it. Keep in mind, he's not using a capo, but that required the use of more bar chords, and I was trying to make this a little bit easier for you beginners to play. Although it sounds great with a, co a uh, capo, I would play it that way probably anyway, because it's just easier to play. So I hope you enjoyed this. Comments in the section below. I'm Trent. Hope you're enjoying everything here at Guitar Animal, and thanks for being members.